Hey everyone, so today I am going to be talking about the importance of a weekly reset, what it is, how you can create your own schedule, the benefits of doing one, and what mine looks like on a week-to-week -week basis. So let's get started. To get started, what is a weekly reset day? It's basically a day out of the week where you take one day to set aside for self-care, for preparation for the rest of the week, just to get yourself in order to have that time set aside to prepare yourself for the rest of the week. Just a little background, just for reference, 75% of British workers explain that they're stressed and implementing this will take away some of those stresses. Your body will also tell you when you're stressed. It'll give you signals like headaches, stomach aches, you'll have problems sleeping, you'll have changes in your sleeping and your appetite. And that's really when you know that you need to do this for yourself. Just a reminder that success is what you do, not what you say you'll do. So you can say, oh, I'm gonna prepare myself for this week. I'm gonna get started this week. No, you just have to sit down and do it. It doesn't matter whether it's a Monday, it doesn't matter whether it's a Tuesday, it doesn't matter whether it's a Friday. I typically do mine on Mondays or Sundays, depending on if I'm in season or not. Sundays, I just take that time away to prepare myself for the rest of the week, and then I'm set up for success and feel more prepared for my week going forward. So on to my first point, making the plan for the day. This is so important because you're gonna go into it without a plan, and you're gonna go crazy because you're gonna have 27 different things that you know you have to do, and you're just gonna do them each halfway because you don't have a set plan of doing things. For me, I'm a very big list person. So what you need to do is you need to sit down your phone, take a minute, write down and plan your entire week. Plan your assignments, plan what work you need to do, plan your schedules out so you're not going throughout the week and you're like, oh man, wait, do I have to do this? Do I have to do this? No, you already know what's coming up because you took that day and you planned out your week and you know that you have your rocks and you have your pebbles. Rocks are harder to move than pebbles, so your rocks are those things that can't change. You put those into your schedule and then you implement your pebbles in there. Oh, like watching your favorite Netflix show or doing this. Once you're done with that, you're gonna sit down, take a piece of paper, use your iPad, use your phone, something, and write down what you need to get done on that day. Whether it's cleaning, doing your laundry, going to the grocery store, planning your meals out for the week, doing homework, sitting down and relaxing, going on a hike, doing a whole bunch of different things. Everyone's day is going to look different, so make it your own. My second point is just get started. You have to start with one task at a time and don't do too many things at once. This is why we made a list in the beginning of what you need to do. You need to go step by step in what you need to do because if you try to do too many things at once, each thing is going to fold into the next and all this, especially if you're ADD or ADHD or get distracted very easily like me, you're going to start with one thing and you're going to be like, oh yeah, 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 I'm going to do this. Oh wait, I need to do this. Oh wait, I need to do this. So you're gonna go into multiple different things instead of just staying on one task at one time and finishing that task the way that you said to. This is why we made a list so that we can just go down that list and we can prioritize what needs to be done first and what can be done last. And just get it done. At the end of the day, once it's done, you don't have to look at it again until next week or two weeks or whenever you decide to do it again, but it'll make you feel better once you get it done. But remember, make those lists so that you stay focused and stay on task. Just for an example, my rest days typically look like I wake up in the morning, eat breakfast, take a minute for myself because obviously I do them on Sundays and that's still my weekend, so I'm not gonna wake up super early just to do this. And you don't have to, it can be like a half day thing. It doesn't have to be a whole day thing. And then I sit down and I write down what I need to do. And then obviously like, what you need to do is gonna go in a different order depending on like how much time you have or like when you're doing it. For me, it's typically planning out my week, like I said earlier. It's going to the grocery store, it's meal prepping for the week, it's cleaning the apartment, it's doing my homework, it's cleaning my room, doing my laundry, doing all those things so that I don't have to do them in the middle of my busy week. And then I'll go step by step to do what I need to do. And it typically starts with me cleaning the apartment and making sure everything's clean and then going to the grocery store, getting my groceries, putting everything away, throwing my laundry in at some point and meal prepping for the week and then putting all the groceries away, putting all the meal prep away. And then I am completely set up for the week so that I have 
the best foot forward moving into that week, not having to have any of that stress next to me, not having to do any of that during the week, knowing exactly what I need to do. And then I'll sit down and do my homework. And if I have extra time, which I typically do, I'll hang out with friends or I'll watch my favorite Netflix show or I'll read a book or I'll just go to bed early because I am a grandma sometimes. But you have to plan it the way that you need to plan so that you have what's best for you moving forward into that week. So you're set up for the best success. So in conclusion, just remember that doing these things is setting your future self up for success. So read what you need. Maybe one week you need to take that day to just watch Netflix all day or read your favorite book or go on a hike or do something out in nature because it's a pretty weekend. But maybe the next week you really do need to sit down and clean everything and set up your week, like schedule out your week. But it's totally up to you and make it to where it helps you and sets yourself up for the most success in that upcoming week. And don't forget that implementing a rest day allows for better focus, better preparedness, and less anxiety and stress in your future week. So just remember, maybe it is a smart idea to start implementing this, but do what's best for you.